Erev Sachem, Samech Lemincha, Lo Yochel Adamach Techshach. Erev Sachem. This is a contradiction in terms. Erev means the day before. It should say Pesach, or it should say Arve Psachem. If you look on top, it says Arve Psachem. Tosis deals with this. He says, Igar Sinan Arve Nicha. If the Gears, if the appropriate text is Arve, many, it's in many days, many Erev Pesach, so it makes sense. The Igar Sinan Erev, but if the correct Gears says Erev, Hachikamar, Erev, the the evening or the afternoon, shishochten bo psachem, that we shecht many karbim psachem, inami erev pesach rishon v'sheni, the alternative explanation is, you have pesach rishon, you have pesach sheni, and on erev pesach rishon or sheni, again, erev pesach rishon would be for the people who are celebrating the first pesach, and erev pesach sheni would be for the people who are celebrating the uh, second pesach, because they were tummy the first go around. Either way, samach lemencha lo yochal, alacha is that if it's samach lemencha, Rashi says, Kodim le mincha ma'at, a little bit more before mincha. Rashbam says mincha ketana. So mincha ketana, kodim le mincha ma'at, chatsi sha, betchilas sha, siris. So since mincha ketana is ten and a half hours into the day, that's two and a half hours after chatzos, because chatzos is at twelve hours, so then half an hour before that would be the beginning of the tenth hour. Lo yochal, aloch is, you're not allowed to eat. A person should not sit down to a meal. Ah, shetach shach until it gets dark. Tosus asks, um, Pirsha, Philus Baal, even if you already davened, Umisha Matzah, because we want to make sure that you have Matzah, Lite Ova. Tosus asks, um, because what does it mean you davened already? Because if you didn't daven, you're anyways not allowed to eat. But then Tosus asks, Umalo Yocha, what is it that you're not allowed to eat? Eat Matzah, if it's referring to Matzah, again, it's Arab Pesach. So what are you allowed to wash on? To sit down and eat means you sit down to a meal, you sit down to wash. Well, what are you going to wash on? Eat matzah for the code nami yasser. You can't, you know, you're not allowed to eat matzah on air pesach. Ki damina mirushami kal ochal matzah be'er pesach ki lebola risoso be'es chamav. It's basically considered to be jumping the gun. You should not eat matzah, which is a mitzvah to eat that night, that day, because you're doing it too soon. I mean, it's targima. So if you're eating, and obviously it's not chametz because you're not allowed to eat chametz on air pesach after uh, um, at that at that hour, anyways. So what are we talking about? Meaning targima, different types of food. The Gemara says, "Avol mitavol who means you are allowed to." So this is Yishlomit the Ari matzah shira. So this is talking about matzah shira, which is matzah that's basically bread that's baked with the flour and the juice together. Because even though Yerushalmi says you're not allowed to eat matzah on her Pesach, it's only matzah that you could be yotzei the mitzvah with, but you cannot be yotzei the mitzvah with matzah shira, and therefore you're not allowed to eat um, matzah shira. At this time, so if you're hungry, do not wash on matzah ashira on erev Pesach. The Mishnah continues, halacha number two. I feel only should be Israel, even a poor person. Every Jew has to be is involved in the mitzvah of celebrating Pesach. Therefore, lo yochal If he has to recline as well, you might think a poor person shouldn't recline. He's not really so free. He's he's, uh, he's got uh, challenges, difficulties, tsaris. No, he has to do his seva. Has to recline as well. Reclining is one of the aspects of the mitzvahs of uh, the Seder night. He should have at least four cups of wine. I feel him in a even if it's from the general tzedakah fund, which is where he has to get it, he should still take advantage of it and he has an obligation to eat to, to do that. Uh, the Rashbam here speaks about why um, why we have four four cups. He says there's four expressions of Geula that are said, that are said about the exodus or the exile from Egypt. That's all in Parshas Vaera, and therefore the four cups of wine, each one corresponds to a different level. Asks the Gemara. My iri arvei pesachim. What's this halacha found in our mission over here that erev pesach and alad eat? I feel arvei shabbos. The same thing applies for erev shabbos. You're not going to sit down to a meal on Friday afternoon. You're going to ruin your appetite for Friday night. We, we just had that with Purim, right? You had to start your meal before a certain time, ideally before chatzos or amar. Said yom tovim nami. Even if it's erev yantiv, same thing. The tanya lo yocha adam arvei shabbos is yom tovim. The brisa taught it very clearly. You're not allowed to eat on erev shabbos erev yantiv. Minam mincha lamalaf from mincha on. And Rabbi Mincha's reference to Mincha Ketana, 10 and a half hours of the day. Why? Very clearly, Kadeshi Kanisal Shabbos Kishitaiva. You have to go into Shabbos with an appetite. Give Rabbi Yehuda. Rabbi Yosi Omer, no. Ochel Bahole Chachitashach. You'll not eat as much as you like until it gets dark. Um, so Rabbi Yosi's opinion is a little bit different. Rabbi Yosi's opinion is you are, in the Brice, is that you are allowed to eat on Erev 
Shabbos and Arab Yontif. So the Chiddush of our mission is going to be according to Yosi, that even though normally in Arab Shabbos and Arab Yontif you're allowed to eat as much as you want in Arab Shabbos and Arab Yontif. And he's not concerned about going into Shabbos and Yontif and having a, an appetite. Even on Arab Pesach, it seems like the mission is teaching Arab Yosi would agree. Amar Vuna Latzich El Arab Yosi, Amar Ochab Ole Chachetachach. Hani Mili, that's true, but Arab Shabbos is Yom Tov. Aval be Arab Pesach, that's different. Shem Chiyuvah de Matzah, Moda, because of the obligation of eating Matzah, he'll agree that it's okay, that you're not allowed to eat from that time on. Reb Papa, I feel the time of Reb Yehuda. Reb Papa says no. Even our Mishnah can be going from Reb Yehuda. Even Reb Yehuda normally says, "Hasam ba'arav Shabbos Yom Tov min Amincha lemalahuda asir." Because again, if you read it carefully, Reb Yehuda says you're not allowed to eat from Mincha and on. But on Erev Pesach, he's more machmir, he's more stringent. Because Samach lemincha shari, normally half an hour before Mincha he holds you're allowed to. Al of Erev Pesach, I feel the Samach lemincha nami yasir. On Erev Pesach, you're not allowed to even if it's half an hour before Mincha. So now the Gemara has a question. Is it really true that according to Yehuda, that on Friday, if it's half an hour before Mincha, that you're allowed to eat? But the Bereisah gives a much stricter shear of nine hours and on, which includes some Mechla Mincha. Why? Same thing. So here you have Rabbi Yehuda, who's even more stringent than the first Rabbi Yehuda. First Rabbi Yehuda says it's from Mincha and on. Here he says an hour before Mincha. Rabbi Yossi Omer, he's consistent. Omar Zitra, man lemolan de mitaratzdehi. He's there, he says, who said this Bryce is a good Bryce? You know, Bryce's are, are suspect sometimes, which is why they don't have the same validity or power as a Mishnah. He says, Dilma Mishabeshti, he maybe it's a corrupted Bryce, which means you have a contradiction. So who says which one is correct? Omar Lamar Remar, Vitemar Vyermar, on the Ikhla Lapirke Dra Pinchas. I went to a Pinchas, I went to his lecture. Come Tana Vatana Kame. And Atana, someone who was an expert in Mishnahis and Brisa, stood up, he taught the second version in front of him, the Kibbal Amine. And he accepted it from him. Yehachi Kasha. If so, it's a question, what's the, what's the difficulty? The difficulty is the difficulty that we asked before. Um, because it seems like it's a stira, it's a contradiction. One Brisa says, Mincha went to the nine hours. Ela mechaverte kidrav huna. Rather, it's clear that it should be explained later of Huna that from Mincha, and the first Brisa means just before it gets dark, and both the Mishnah and both Brises are in agreement. So there's a whole discussion about Hasaka. Talk about that tomorrow.